OK, now it's time to make our first model uh, in GateSim 2019. So when you start up the program, uh, you'll get a view like this, which is um, you know, when there's nothing to see. Uh, to create a, a new model, you either click on the New Model button or there's a menu option for new. It does exactly the same thing. Uh, what it does is it pops up this dialog. These are all the settings that you need to specify for the entire model. Um, they include things like the type of integrator that you're going to use, some of the parameters that it uses. It's got these sort of fitness type outputs and things like that. It's got how long you want to run it for and a whole bunch of, of really quite technical things. Of these, about the only things you might want to change are perhaps the direction of gravity if you've chosen a different coordinate system or something. But mostly as an initial point, uh, you just leave all these as the default because it'll probably work fine. Um, obviously, that's now a model. We could now save it. It's got nothing in it, so it's a little bit uninteresting. So following on from what I showed in the first video, we should have a folder full of um, bone segments that we've saved from our CAD file. And the easiest way to create a quick um, gate sim model is this option, import meshes as bodies, because this lets us import a whole folder full of meshes all at once, which is usually what we want to do. So here is my folder. Here are all the different bones that we exported. Left arm, left foot, left forearm, left hand, left shank, left thigh, and so forth. And as you can see, they're moderately sized files, and we can select all of them. I've separated out the bones from the skin because actually you don't want separate, uh, separate um, links for the different parts. You want each one to have a, its own. So uh, the left arm bone, for example, will later on be associated with the left arm skin. But at this point, you just want the bone files. And there it is. This is actually now the first um, Gatesim model. And because Gatesim on occasion is a bit flaky, I would make sure that you save it. Um, put it in a sensible place and call it a, a sensible file name. So there it is. Now, obviously in GateSim you can spin it around and you can have a look at it and you can see all the beautiful bits. Um, you can see that a certain amount of calculation has gone on under the hood. Uh, it's tried to identify where the centers of the individual segments are. The segments are listed down here. You can make them visible or not as you choose. This is to say you can spin it around with the right left mouse button. You can zoom in and out. If you collect, select a button, you can um, center on a view and things like that. So it's very straightforward to create the first model. But of course, this on its own isn't a particularly useful model. Uh, I'll show you what this model can actually do. So um, we have two very, very important buttons up here. Uh, and this controls the mode that we're in. Currently, we're in construction mode. If we want to see what the model, model can do, we have to switch to running mode, which we do by clicking on the button here. Now we can't edit the model, but we can let the simulation happen. If we wish to edit the model again, we have to go back to edit mode. So you go back and forth between these two. And if we try and run this model, then this is what happens. And that's because all that can possibly happen with it is that um, we put gravity in the model, we put a lot of individual bodies in the model, and so all they'll do is fall onto gravity, uh, and we put no floor or anything in the model, so they'll keep on falling. But that's how you create your very first model.